So you're trying to buy a house in 2021 and you need to build credit fast. I'm going to show you how to do that coming up. Hey everyone, if you've been trying to work on your credit and you have barely been seeing any results, you need to go ahead and take a look at the workshop that I just opened up that is currently free so that you can learn where you went wrong while you were trying to work on your credit. During that lesson, you'll learn the four don'ts when it comes to working on your credit, the mistakes people make when writing dispute letters, why you shouldn't only dispute with the credit bureaus, and also the accounts that people waste time disputing. Not to mention, you'll get to see real results from a customer who used my methods and they were able to get Get their credit straightened out and bought a brand new home within seven months so go ahead and sign up for that training today the link is going to be down in the bio and while you're trying to work on your credit you have to see all three of your credit reports and scores and my score iq a company that i use for myself and for all of my customers has a one dollar seven day trial so you can see your credit reports and scores so you can know where you stand because you can't work on your credit without knowing what's going on on all three reports so please check out my score iq the link to them is going to be down in the description description as well. What's up everybody, Will Frazier here, your credit expert, bringing you the credit tips you need to get your credit back on track because what goes down must come up. And if you don't want your credit score to drop 500 points, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every video I drop just like this. So today I'm talking to those of you that are trying to buy a house and you need to build credit fast. Now some of you may be in a situation because you just for the first time looked at your credit reports and you saw your score is nowhere near where it needs to be and now you need to do something fast to get it up. Or maybe you're that person that thought that cash was more important than credit so you never actually made attempts to use credit to build credit and now you have to do it in order to get your score up to get a house. Or maybe your score was where it needed to be in the past but you made some mistakes along the way and ended up dropping your score or maybe some things going on in the pandemic actually made your score drop. No matter what scenario you're in, I'm gonna give you some advice that's gonna help you build credit fast in order to get a house in 2020. So what's the first thing that you need to be focused on if you're trying to build credit fast in order to buy a house? The first thing you need to do is actually get a hold of all three of your credit reports. Now the reason why you need to do this is because the mortgage lender is going to pull all three of your credit reports and scores. They're gonna go with the middle score, which is not the highest or the lowest, but the one in the middle. So you need to look at all three of your scores to get an idea of where you're at. Not only that, you need to make sure you're looking at FICO scores. Credit Karma doesn't give you FICO scores. They also don't give you all three reports. So they aren't gonna give you what you need in this instance where you're trying to build credit fast in order to buy a house. Now I do have a company, My Score IQ, that I do recommend to all of my customers and I use it myself. They do have a $1 seven day trial right now. So please go ahead and check them out so you can see what your credit scores are if you haven't taken a look at them and you can just see it really quickly and get an idea of what you're working with and know where to start from. Also be mindful to take a look at your credit reports so you can see what is all out there, collections, charge offs, late payments, and you can know what it is that you have to deal with in order to get to the point where you can build your credit fast and get into this house in 2021. Okay, one of the key things that you wanna do when you're looking at those negative accounts that you have on your credit report is figure out what you need to do to deal with them because what will happen is those negative accounts will actually slow down how fast you're able to build up your credit. You see, if you have negative accounts on your credit report, it is the equivalent to trying to run a race and you know you're really fast, but you have an anchor tied around your ankle. Of course, you can run fast, but you're gonna be slowed down because of the anchor. Those negative accounts on your credit report are that anchor so you need to do something with them to cut them off so they don't slow you down while you're trying to build up credit now with any collection companies that you have it is a good idea for you to try to dispute those first and see what errors may be present so that you can try to see if they can be removed just off the basis of that before you try to do anything else with them because paying off collections doesn't help your credit score and also paying off collections doesn't guarantee that they will be removed off your credit report without further negotiation with the collection companies and nine times out of ten they will say no to negotiations there are some companies that will but the majority of them will say no now when it comes to the charge-offs there are a lot of mortgage lenders that can overlook charge-offs in regards to approving you for a mortgage some of them it depends on how old the charge-off is some of them they just immediately do that but the important thing is you need to ask whatever lender you want to go with how they treat those so that you can know what you need to do with your charge-offs. Now that you have all three of your credit reports and scores, you know where you stand and you know what accounts you have on your credit report and what you need to do with them, now it's time to actually start building up credit. So in order to do this, you have two choices. You have a loan and you have a credit card. 
Those are the two options people have to build up credit with. But which one is gonna help you build your credit score the fastest? I'll share that with you at the end, but what's important for you to look at right now is does the company report to all three credit bureaus? So why is that important? Because the mortgage lender is gonna pull all three credit reports. So you need all three scores to be as high as possible because you don't know which score will end up being your middle score by the time you get to the table to apply. So you need to make sure you are doing everything that you can to increase all three with each effort that you make to build credit. Now, how can you find a company that reports to all three credit bureaus? Well, basically in general, most of the bigger companies like bigger banks and bigger credit unions, they are going to report to all three credit bureaus. But a lot of the small credit unions or small banks, they don't usually report to all three credit bureaus. So why is that? Because they have to pay to report to the credit bureaus. And the smaller companies and banks, credit unions, they aren't trying to pay that extra money that they have to pay to report to all three. So you wanna make sure that you do ask and try to identify those companies that report to all three bureaus. Now I will tell you that I have some options listed down in the description that can help you with that. All options that report to all three bureaus. And I even have an account that's a line of credit that guarantees approval with a credit limit of at least $5,000 down in the description. And I'm gonna put a link to a video that'll actually show you where I explain that account so you can learn if it's gonna be a good one for you. Okay, so now that you've looked up accounts that report to all three credit bureaus and you've identified some, which one is gonna be the better thing for you, the loan or the credit card? Now, what's important here is how they hit your credit report. There is a part of your credit score calculation which bases the amount of points that you get off of how much debt that you owe. When you get a loan, it shows up as you owe a whole bunch of money. When you get a credit card, it shows up that a whole bunch of money is available to you that you haven't spent yet. So you can imagine just based off of that, which one of those should be the one to help your score go up faster. And that is definitely a credit card or a revolving line of credit. You see, when the loan hits your credit report, it can help you out a lot if you're a person that has never had a loan at all on your credit report before. That loan hitting your credit report for the first time can actually help your score. But when you pay off the loan, your score can drop. Now, when you get the credit card, because it shows up as a whole bunch of money available to you, instead of a whole bunch of money owed, usually more people get a lot more points very quickly when they get those cards. I've seen a person's score go up as much as 90 points immediately after getting a credit card. And I've also seen that for most people, this is the case, that credit cards usually build up your score a lot faster than loans do. Again, unless you do not have any other loans on your credit report and you've never had a loan before. Now, that being said, if you are a person that has not been using credit at all and you're trying to build up your credit and you get this account for the first time, you will not initially see an increase in your score. If you're looking at Credit Karma in which you have a Vantage score, you may see an increase in your score immediately. But FICO doesn't calculate your score that way. You have to use credit for at least six months before you will actually get a credit score if you have not used credit over the last 24 months. So yes, if you're trying to build up credit and you have not used credit at all in the last 24 months, you will have to wait really about seven months because it usually takes a month for it to hit your credit report and it may be a month behind in reporting. So in about seven months, you should actually see a credit score when you go into a lender to try to get approved. And right now, as well as going into 2021, it's looking like the mortgage credit score requirements are going to be about the same. And usually across the board, it is about a 660 score that you need to have middle score in order to get approved for most mortgages right now. So that is the goal you should be aiming for as far as how high you're trying to get your credit score. And that's what you need to be trying to work towards when you're doing all of your efforts to try to dispute collections or deal with charge offs or trying to get accounts to build credit. Now, if you follow these steps that I gave you, you should be able to build credit at a faster pace and you should be able to sell smoothly into being able to get your home in 2021. I hope this information was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions about anything that I mentioned, make sure you leave those questions in the comments and I'll see you guys next time.